One of the key things I find useful in terms of making remotes work well is making sure that the guests that you are going to be bringing into the remote know what they need to do. Um, and on my website, what I've done is I have a page called How to Look Awesome. And on the right here, I talk about different things that you need to do. Like, you know, is your location awesome? You make sure that you don't have a window behind you. Um, do you sound awesome? You know, using headphones, and if somebody has a, a good microphone, they can use that as well. Or if they have a USB headset with a microphone, that's even better because then the microphone is right there no matter how they turn. And then is your internet awesome? You know, check your upload speed, check your um, download speed, because that's my speed to them for the return feed. Uh, know your settings. You know, working through people, learning how to set their camera inputs, you know, because sometimes we'll send them a webcam for their laptop because built in the webcams don't look super awesome. And we'll send them a Logitech or whatever. And when they plug it in, it's still going to use the default built in webcam, which is not going to look super awesome. Uh, just as an example of that, this is my Logitech on top of my laptop. And this is a high-end gaming laptop and the webcam that's in it. And I'm just going to show you a, a still image from a remote call that I was using it on. This is the webcam that's built in. And this is the Logitech. And hopefully that comes through on Zoom, the difference between blah and the difference between looking good. <laughs> so, you know, I, I on my website, I say, I, I make you look awesome and sound awesome. And the, having an external camera makes a big difference and getting the remote guest, walking them through how to select the remote camera, how to select their earbuds, or if they have an inline microphone, I have ones that don't specifically so that uh, it's using this microphone, but working with them so that they can look and sound their best is what I do. And this page on the website is the first thing that I send them so that they can walk through and know what to expect, know that they're going to need headphones, know that they have to, you know, don't set up in the middle of the living room where kids are going to be running around and the big bay windows are behind them. You know, we have to select a quiet location that doesn't sound like a box um, and be in a space where they can control the sound so we have the best sound. I explain to them the interface that they're going to click into. And if, again, if you're going to use a uh, Wirecast or uh, Mimo Live or something like that, you can, obviously your, your instructions would be different here. So this is configured for the tool that I choose to use. And it shows the um, interface buttons right here that they'll look at, and then down the bottom. And just, you know, I have some technical information in case they have an IT department, they can like copy and paste this and give it to them. And that is something that I send to each remote guest for my shows, so they have a heads up. I, I want them to look good, you know. It's not always as easy as I would like it to, but by, you know, help you, help me to help you is, is in essence what I'm trying to do. I, I'm trying to give them the information so that they can make choices before we've even connected as to a place that's going to sound good, a place that's isolated, a place that has good light, put a table lamp in front of you, like I have a lamp in front of me. If I turn it off, I look don't look as good. If I turn this up, it looks better. So having good lighting, all of that helps make remote guests and obviously guests in front of cameras look better.